Hi guys, I'm just here to give you a quick demo of uh, the sci-fi slash uh, Antony Riachiatonis' um, Pi Menus branch. Um, this isn't exactly what's going into master. Um, actually, I think a lot of the, the coded in Pi's are not going to make it into master, but some of the uh, other functionality will. So anyway, I'm going to give you a quick overview of kind of how they work and uh, what pies there are. So uh, we'll start with um, kind of how they work. So the first thing that uh, Antony coded in was uh, the uh, sticky keys. So basically, like, uh, the keys work just as before. So say uh, tab just flips between edit mode and object mode just like before, there's no change. But if you hold tab, it'll spawn a uh, Pi menu. Um, this is configurable, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, about how long you have to hold it in order to spawn that menu. So if you don't move your mouse after uh, you you hit tab, you the, spot, the Pi menu spawns, and you release tab without moving the mouse, it will do click mode operation. So that means um, I'm not holding any keys down right now, and I can move the mouse around and just click uh, to select my mode. This is kind of beginner mode. Now, if you move the mouse before you let go of the tab key, the key that uh, spawns the pie menu, uh, it goes into drag operation. So if I hold tab down, now tab is still held down, I move over, and you see uh, it becomes angle based here. So now I can just move around, and then when I let go of the tab key, that is when the, the mode will be, or the slice will be selected. So this actually ends up being very fast, because you can set it up so that your hold is about the same amount of time as your swipe and uh, so we can go really quickly um, I'll demonstrate that now with this with this Pi so uh, object mode edit modes sculpt mode there you go um, texture paint I believe is down there and and these th they're always in the same spot so you get to be really fast you don't even have to read the menu anymore to move between these modes extremely quickly. Heck, you can go so fast that the menu doesn't even draw on screen, really, um, as you can see. Um, another key in object mode, anyway, uh, actually in all of the modes almost, is the Z key. So there I can toggle back and forth by just tapping it, but if I hold it, I can go to solid mode or object mode, uh, material, so let's see, rendered is up that way. Um, and uh, texture mode. We've stuck shade smooth and shade flat in there. So, uh, but the, for those, the ones I use most often are solid and wire, but um, a lot of people will just uh, hit the key, the old way to do that, but it gives us all the other options as well. Um, so th those are those two keys. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess I can go check out the user preferences really quick where some of this stuff is editable. So I'll open the, this is found under u interface and it's down here are our new things. Here's our sticky key timeout. So this is the amount of milliseconds before the Pi menu is spawned. For me, 15 milliseconds is almost perfect. Uh, the default is about 20. It seems a little sluggish to me at 20, so I drop it to 15. But uh, if I put that up to like 300, uh, it should take three seconds for it to spawn. So I uh, press and hold the key, and two, three, boom, there it is. So there's three seconds. So if, if you want it to be moving fast, I find 15 to be just about right. Um, 15, if you go much below 15, you're, you're not going to get your tap. Um, it's gonna it's gonna trigger the the um, operate the direct operator quickly. So getting the direct uh, jump is kind of difficult if that's below 15. So if you don't want the direct operator at all, you can just set that to zero, and the pie will just 
uh, spawn instantly. Moving on, animation timeout. So this is uh, how long it takes to animate the pie. So right now it's set to six, which makes it feel very fast, um, yet still have the animation. You can set that to zero, and the pie will, you know, show instantly. Um, I might actually use zero, um, but six, six I find to be okay. The default there is uh, just fine. Um, but uh, if you really like watching the animation, I mean, you can set it a lot higher. Like, w we could set it to 100, and it's, it's going to move real slow, as you can see, just like that. But uh, that seems too sluggish for me. Of course, 100 is ridiculous. It's, but uh, you could set it to maybe 20 or uh, 15, and it would be okay. Um, so there's that 6. The recenter timeout is kind of interesting. I think the default on this is 0. So what this does is when you're on the edge of a screen, uh, you'll, uh, I guess I'll demonstrate the problem. With no recenter timeout, um, so say you're using your fast mode, so you, I want to go to object mode, edit mode, sculpt mode, right? But now you're calling the pie menu way over here on the side of the screen. And say you want to go to sculpt mode really quick, well you spawn it and go up, and now you went into vertex paint. because the pie recenters so it stays on the screen but now when you go vertical it uh, chooses vertex paint because vertex paint is off this that angle but you wanted sculpt mode you wanted to go vertical because you were moving so fast so that's where the recenter timeout comes in now if I set that recenter timeout in very high say five seconds um, you're gonna see uh, when I pop this, when I pop the button, it's going to jump. Um, so, like, I'm going to uh, just pop the button here, and you'll see nothing is really selected, because it's seeing under my mouse cursor as the center. After five seconds, the uh, object mode selects, because it switched over to the this to be the center, instead of right here to be the center. So now... Uh, it's just like this, and you choose the one. So basically, if you're taking a lot of time to look at the menu, it will behave the way you expect it to. But if you're moving very fast, it'll also behave the way you expect it to. So if I put that at 15 milliseconds, oops, this one here, I put that at 15 milliseconds, and this beast is gonna just, I'm gonna move quick, and uh, let's see, is that working? Edit, object, sculpt. Yeah, so even though I'm on the side there, this maybe not working. No, okay, let's see. There we go. So, it's, oh, I'm just not moving fast enough. I need to set it a little bit higher. Um, yeah, okay, so, there we go. See, I, I, I was flipping, I wasn't doing, going fast enough. I wasn't doing it inside of 15 milliseconds. So it was flipping back to uh, the diagonal. So now, now I should go to sculpt or object or edit, or if I want to just stare at it, it, it'll choose the one I want. So there we go. It's very fast. Okay, so there's uh, another thing. Um, let's see, where where was I? Let's go back in here. The next beast I would like to show you, let's see, I'm going to put this back on the 15. Um, our radius, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you put it really low, um, your pie is going to be really tiny and even not work as too low. But if you uh, stick it really quite high, like uh, 300, oops, uh, it's going to be huge. So let's uh, keep moving here. Uh, the threshold, let's see, I'm going to put that at about 120. Threshold is uh, how far you have to move your mouse before one of the slices activates. So the uh, default's 12. If I put that have it and make it 6, it's going to be really high fidelity, right? You barely have to move your mouse at all before these activate. Hold on, my son is coming to talk to me. Just a sec. Okay, where was I? Um, I believe uh, the threshold. So if you, if I make that threshold 
really high, yeah. So that's uh, very high fidelity. You barely have to move. But if I set it higher, if I set that to, say, uh, 60, um, it's not very high. Th so uh, you have to move the mouse quite a bit before you activate these. And uh, uh, Anthony added this nice ring, which uh, it has the double, it shows you which way you're going, obviously, and it shows uh, that threshold level. So that's pretty nice. Um, the next thing I would love to show you guys is, let me drop that threshold right back down. If you look at these uh, um, numbers on here, let's see what's a, a pi that has all of them, um, Z maybe? Uh, yeah, you'll see these numbers, and you might say, "Gosh, what is what is that?" There's these random numbers um, that don't make a whole lot of sense, but they do. Um, they're actually made to correspond with a numpad. So, f imagine five in the middle, four is to the left, six is to the right, uh, eight is up, and two is down. The cool part about this is it actually also works with um, do -do 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 -do, uh, no mouse, right? So. Um, go for um, yeah and then you can go quick it's just tap tap pop up it's very quick and nice so that is pretty solid um, uh, now I guess uh, that's most of the functionality here um, I guess I'd like to show you guys uh, what Pi menus there are so as you can see there's the the mode Pi here um, which does all your your different modes. Uh, we already went out over the Z Pi here. Um, there is if you tap space, you get your good old search here. Um, but if you hold space, you now get a view Pi, um, which allows us to have all our views on one thing. And this actually it works pretty well. So there's right, left, top, bottom, camera. Um, yeah, boom, boom, boom. I mean, it, it moves quick and tap. It works really well. Um, I'm impressed with it. Uh, front, back, left, right. So isn't that cool? Um, uh, let's see, what other ones are there? There is, on the control space menu, there is, uh, you can turn on and off your manipulator, right? Or uh, here you can stick it to translate, rotate, and scale. Boom, boom, boom. Um, or turn it on and off. Um, if it is off uh, and you want to turn it on, any of the options will actually uh, turn it on. So there's um, so off, on, switch them, uh, send it off. So there you go. Um, what else? Uh, both, I believe, uh, um, what is it, comma has one, this is all your uh, snapping options, and period, those are uh, your 3D cursor uh, pivots. Um, so actually one good way to see all these uh, key bindings without memorizing them all is if we go into the key binding setting, there, there's two things uh, that we can search. One is search for pi. This will show you all the pi things. So in image paint mode, the E key will do the do a pi. Um, vertex paint E. So E does a lot of pies in the different modes. Um, there's tab is uh, is that object select one. Um, space bar uh, Z control space. I think I think those are all the ones we got. So the other thing that you can search to get pies is sticky, and that'll give you a different set of pies. And they're, they're, the sticky keys are basically the keys that double up functionality. Um, so here's all your uh, sticky keys. So it's basically, oh, your proportional editing, and uh, the, there is a extrude um, sticky in uh, edit mode meshes edit mode. So uh, that's pretty much all the functionality of these pies. Um, we'll see how much of it actually makes it into trunk or into master uh, now that we're over on git. Uh, I hope most of it does. It's uh, I'm really impressed with how it works. It's really fast and uh, 
uh, we can actually make our own menus. I, th I think that's probably the way that uh, things are going to go, is that artists have to make their own menus or, or coders. Artists have to find coders to build their menus. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a default setup uh, off the bat, but uh, um, we're going to try to try to make as, as many people happy as we can. So, anyway, thank you for your time. Talk to you all later. <laughs>